Hello YouTube. Today we are going to be reading Mark chapter 6. And as always, before we get started reading or studying, we go to the Father in prayer. So pray with me. Dear Father God, thank you for your word and all your many blessings. Thank you for being so good to us. And uh, thank you for your goodness towards us. We ask that you would um, teach us and make us teachable and help us to understand the greater meaning of the scriptures. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Alrighty, let us get into the book of Mark. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and that his disciples follow him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many fearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man, from whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? that even such mighty works are wrought in his hands, sorry, by his hands. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and of Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the village teaching. And he called unto them unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits okay so when it says unclean spirits it's talking about demons so Jesus gave them the power to cast out demons. And commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only. No scrip, no bread, no money in their purse. But he shod with sand. Oh, sorry. But be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, 
shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for the city. Those were, were oh, let me read, read, um, reread that. Okay, and he said unto them, okay, these are the words of Jesus. In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, that means whoever doesn't let you into their house, nor hear you when ye depart, then shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be no more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for the city. Okay. Now, these are the normal words. Um, Mark wrote this book. Um, these are the words of Mark. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. So Jesus' disciples cast out demons and healed the sick. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to do that? Um, and when it says devils here, it's not talking about Satan, it's talking about demons. Okay, um, and King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Okay, so Herod saw that Jesus was doing mighty works, and so... He thought that John the Baptist had come back from the dead. Um, and that's not the case. It was Jesus. Others said that it is Elias or Elijah. The King James calls him Elias because... Uh, they're using a little bit older English. Okay. And others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard, therefore, he said, It is John whom, he, whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. Just so you don't forget, it wasn't John, it was Jesus. They just, they just thought it was John. But here it's going to tell us how they beheaded John, or why. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, 
and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. Uh, so I'm he it's saying he Herod married his brother's wife. That doesn't sound good. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not for Herod fear John, knowing that he was a just man and an holy and wait a and holy and observed him. And when he heard him he did many things and heard him gladly. So in other words Herod liked John, um, but his wife Herodias didn't like John, I, I suppose. And supposedly back then, if you didn't like someone, it was okay to kill him. <laughs> I, I don't know. And when... A convenient day was come that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains and chief estates, estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the, of the said Herodias came in, and danced and pleased Herod, and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. See, most people think that there's a little bit more going on here than just, um, his daughter dancing for them. They think it was kind of like a gentleman's club, but uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be too vulgar here. So let's move on, shall we? And he swear unto her. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king, and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake, and for their sakes which sat with him would not reject her. So in other words, he had to behead John the Baptist because he was afraid of disappointing the people around him. And immediately the king sent an executioner 
and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel and the damsel gave it to her mother and when his disciples heard it of it they came and took up his corpse and laid it in a tomb and the apostles gathered them themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things both what they had done and what they had taught and he said unto them come ye oh by the way these are the words of Jesus come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while okay these are the words of mark now for there were many coming and going and they had no leisure so much as to eat that means they didn't have time to eat and they departed into a desert place by ship privately and the people saw them departing and many knew him and ran afoot thither out of all cities and out went them and came together unto him and Jesus, when he came out, saw much people and was moved with compassion toward them because they were as sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said this is a desert place and now the time is far past send them away that they may go into the country round about and into the villages and buy themselves bread for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, These are the words of Jesus. Now, give ye them to eat. Okay, these are the words of Mark. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread? and give them to eat he said unto them these are the words of Jesus how many loaves have ye go and see okay these are the words of Mark and when they knew they say five and two fishes oh and when they knew they say five and two fishes and he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass and they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties and when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes he looked up to heaven and blessed and break the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them and the two fishes 
divided he among them all and they did all eat and were filled and they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments of and of the fishes and they that did eat of the loaves were five thousand men supposing there was there were women and children there um there was more than five thousand unless it's talking about mankind which the bible often does anyway his wait uh and straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida while he sent away the people and when he had sent them away he departed into a mountain to pray and when even was come that's evening not that's how the King James says it. And when the evening had come, oh wait, hold on. The ship was in the midst of the sea, he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in rowing for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night he cometh unto them walking upon the sea and would have passed by them. But when he saw, when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a spirit and cried out, for they all saw him and were troubled, and immediately he talked with them and said, Oh, and saith unto them, Okay, these are the words of Jesus. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Okay, back to the words of Mark. And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure and wondered for they consider not the miracle of the loaves for their heart was hardened so they didn't understand that Jesus was God even after he multiplied the loaves and the fish Okay, and when they had passed over, they came into the land of Gennesaret and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship straightway, they knew him and ran through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds those that were sick where they heard he was and with whithersoever 
he entered into villages or cities or country. They laid the sick in the streets and besought him. They, oh, besought him that they might touch if it, were if it were the border of his garment and as many as touched him were made whole alrighty it looks like that's it for this chapter and as always um Grace and peace to you, and God bless you.